this video we will be buying Bitcoin. I will be buying Bitcoin as every single month like I mentioned already in my videos. I am buying some more Bitcoin and I do it every single month. And we will be buying Bitcoin on Coinbase and I will be transferring in this video this Bitcoin to Ledger Nano S. This is a device, this is called storage device where you can store your Bitcoin and take your Bitcoin with you. In other words, you are storing your private keys your Bitcoin private keys on this device and nobody is able to access it and you can travel all around the world and whenever you need your Bitcoin you connect to your computer and you can get your Bitcoin and transfer it whenever you want guys. This is what we will be doing in this video and if you are interested then let's go guys. This video will consist of two parts guys. In first part we will be buying Bitcoin on Coinbase and on second part we will be storing this Bitcoin on Ledger Nano device. If you will be interested you will also be able to buy this device. I will leave the referral link in the description of this video. Coinbase is one of the oldest places where you can buy Bitcoin and currently you can buy on Coinbase not only Bitcoin but also Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, different cryptocurrencies you can buy on Coinbase. First thing you will need to do to buy Bitcoin on Coinbase or any other cryptocurrency on Coinbase you have to come in and you have to sign in by clicking this button sign in and I believe that nobody needs further explanation because this is simple sign in process uh, which you have to carry out with different platforms. Once you are signed in into the Coinbase you will be redirected to something similar to this and this is how your profile will look inside. Here you can see Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, 0x and basic attention token and many other different cryptocurrencies which you can buy on Coinbase. In this video we will be buying Bitcoin. We will not be buying any other cryptocurrencies. After you have created your account on Coinbase you will need to connect your debit card or credit card or debit card to Coinbase and to do that you have to go to right top corner at this icon, click on it and click on settings and once you are in settings here you can see your profile, your profile details, you will see your preferences, security, activity, you go all through all these fields guys as I will not be doing it in this video as it will take too much time. What you will need to do is link it accounts, these are your bank accounts, you just click on this link it accounts and link a new account. You are linking a new debit credit debit card account you click here credit debit card and then you follow with all these procedures which is needed to do to link your account here is also I have PayPal account and if you are linking a new account you can also link a PayPal account but PayPal account is only for selling you can only sell Bitcoin here on Coinbase and receive your money on PayPal if you want to do so however I am not really using a PayPal account for Bitcoin I'm using my credit card. Good thing about Bitcoin is guys whenever you buy it you can also sell it straight away you don't need to keep it. This is the place where you can buy and sell Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrencies what they have here you can buy and sell them straight away and if you are interested in prices you go here Bitcoin price and you see these Bitcoin cash price, Ethereum price, Ethereum classic and Litecoin price and so on and so forth and all these you can also store on Ledger device if you are interested. You can store many different cryptocurrencies on Ledger device not only Bitcoin but Mostly people or me myself I have a couple of ledger devices and I store uh, I don't store for example more than one Bitcoin on one ledger device just for security purposes or I, my ledger device gets lost. Once you have connected your account next thing you click this button trade and here you can see buy sell whether you are buying or selling Bitcoin you can also go actually I will first, firstly go to my portfolio and in my portfolio you can see and if you will have a portfolio on Coinbase you will be able to see here all balances of different cryptocurrencies which you have and currently already I have 0 0.10 Bitcoin this is what I bought this month already but today I'm going to buy another 0 0.05 Bitcoin so I will have 0 0.15 
uh, Bitcoin on my balance and I will be sending it to my ledger. And for those who are new to Bitcoin guys and you have to know that you don't need to buy a whole Bitcoin if you would want to invest in Bitcoin. For example, if you are buying a stock or you have been trading in stock market, you have to buy a whole stock if you want to buy a stock. Where in Bitcoin, when you, whenever you are buying Bitcoin, you can buy Bitcoin for $20, you can buy Bitcoin for $30. How much you want you can invest in Bitcoin, you can buy small parts and Bitcoin has zero, uh, 8 decimal places. This means that it has zero, 8 zeros behind the uh, leading zero where dollar has only 2 decimal places. This means that in one dollar we have only 100 cents but in Bitcoin we have smallest part of Bitcoin is called Satoshis and we have 1 million Satoshis or 100 million Satoshis guys in one Bitcoin. This is about where you can see your balance but transferring we will be transferring later and currently you see I have 0 0.10 Bitcoin. So to buy Bitcoin I click trade and make sure that I have here buy. If I would want to sell Bitcoin for example I would click here sell and I would sell all. I would click button sell all and it shows me that I can sell 0 0.10 Bitcoin at price $6,400 and sale 656 and this would be like what I would be total payout would be 646 dollars and this money would go into my euro account here and we, after you can sell uh, transfer from your euro account to or if you are for example in United States this would be dollar USD dollar account you would be able to transfer it to your bank account. Let's buy Bitcoin, let's go trade, let's make sure it is buy and I will be buying today 350 euro, this is about 400 dollar worth Bitcoin and preview purchase and here as you can see Coinbase fee will be 13 euro 43 cents so this is okay if you are buying a small parts of Bitcoin and I will be getting for 350 euro 0 0.05 Bitcoin. So I click buy now and now I will receive most likely to my phone my bank confirmation I will have to make in this account. So thank you your payment is processing and it will redirect me most likely. Actually it didn't redirect. If my purchase would be over let's say 500 or 1000 dollar as I was normally buying Bitcoin guys it would redirect me to my bank detail, bank approval where bank would send to my mobile phone confirmation code so I have to confirm this purchase. And now if we go back to my portfolio currently in my portfolio is 993 euro worth Bitcoin which is 0.15 for Bitcoin and like I mentioned Bitcoin has 8 decimal places. This means that I have 0 0.154522 Bitcoin and now we will be sending this Bitcoin to my ledger device. Like I mentioned ledger device is a cold storage for Bitcoin and you can send your Bitcoin to this ledger device and this means that you are not storing it anywhere online. If you are storing your Bitcoin for example of on Coinbase and you have a ledger device then Coinbase owes that Bitcoin and when you send your Bitcoin to this ledger device then you owe this Bitcoin because your private keys are stored on this ledger device and you can travel all around the world whenever you want with your ledger device and only you have access to this Bitcoin which you have guys. Always remember if you are buying a Bitcoin always store it in devices like these for example or on your computer on Bitcoin node if you are interested we can I can create a video how you can store uh, on Bitcoin node and create a Bitcoin node on your local environment but the best place is ledger device like this or any other cold storage wallet where you can store Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrencies and on ledger you can store different cryptocurrencies. This video will be a little bit longer because of my talking because I'm trying to explain you all details about it and I'm trying to not miss out anything however if you have any questions leave them in comments and I will try to answer you guys but never leave your Bitcoin with these providers or anything always send it to your private wallets so you owe this Bitcoin because for example if something will go wrong with Coinbase 
you will not owe your bitcoin if you send your bitcoin to this device guys you owe your bitcoin and you will be able to send it whether to your mobile application which you are using for purchasing things or buying and in small parts you don't have to sell send it all in one go and so on and so forth guys so best thing in one word is to keep it on wallet like this so next thing is what we are going to do we are going to install ledger live go to google if you want to find it this is ledger live and if you already have purchased ledger this is this device you will need this ledger ledger live on your computer because it will allow you to manage your cryptocurrencies which you are buying all private keys will be always stored here on this device and you will be able only to approve whether you are sending bitcoin and nobody from internet is able to access private keys which are stored here on this ledger device let's download now now I'm downloading this. Let's click Ledger Live. Now it's, I say yes, so it's install. So now I'm installing this Ledger Live software on my computer, finish. And now it will be installed. This software simply works with this Ledger device, guys, and that's all it is. And now enter password to continue. Or I already had installed Ledger, I will check. Actually, I already had installed this ledger on this computer, but in your case, if you will be installing Ledger Live Guys on your computer, first thing what you will need to do is you will need to connect this ledger device and once your ledger device will be connected and to connect it, you open it up and you have a screen here guys as you can see you have a screen here and you have two buttons on the top one bottom is to navigate to the right or for example to to turn numbers up for example seven eight nine other is to put them back or navigate them back it is six five four three two and so on and so forth and to confirm actions you simply press these but two buttons together so first thing what we will do is we will connect this ledger ledger device to this computer now so I have USB drive and here you have such a plugin into this particular ledger device and you connect this USB into your computer whether it's a laptop whether it's a PC guys and now I'm connecting it and on this screen you will need to enter your code to connect your device here you can already see that I have 9.68 as this is one of my old ledger devices I have some Litecoin here 0.13 and I have 0 0.000515 uh, Bitcoin as well, guys. This is one of my old ledgers. That's why I decided to use it in this video. We will enter code. And once you will enter your code, guys, you will be able to create a new public key to which you would want to receive Bitcoin. If you will be buying this ledger device, once you install Ledger Live, at first time you will need to activate it and all the things you will need to do is the same. You just plug this device in, then you open this Ledger Live and just follow instructions how to activate a new device. And once you will activate it by following those steps, which will be displayed on Ledger Live software, you will see exactly the same screen as I am seeing right now. So guys, and next thing what you will need to do is you will need to go to manager if you and on your manager you will need to add bitcoin to your ledger device here you will need to click install i have already installed bitcoin so i will not be installing once you will be created just the first time new device you will come here and install this on your ledger device and once you will install you go back to your portfolio and you go to bitcoin and here you are in your bitcoin and you say receive and then continue and here it will open the bitcoin up on your device and you will see bitcoin up on your device you just click on that up and it will open it on your device and then you click continue and my verify address on device and you click continue because you need to verify this address which is public key on your device you just created a new public key and you can create how many pub new public keys you want and you can send bitcoin to those addresses what we are doing now we are just copying this this address and then we are going back to coinbase and once we are in coinbase i go to my portfolio 
click on Bitcoin and I click here on this button send. Once I click button send, I paste my Bitcoin public key here or this is address because Bitcoin has a public key and it has a private key. Public key is the key or this is the address which you can share with anyone and they can send you Bitcoin to it. But private keys are used for accessing to your Bitcoin. And here in Bitcoin, I just click once and then I click send maximum guys. And next thing what I do, I click continue and here I will need to enter my two Google two factor authentication key, click confirm, your transaction is on the way. And now if I will open my ledger, and here we go guys, I have received a Bitcoin, a 0 0.15498896 Bitcoin guys. And this Bitcoin is currently, I can unplug it, it is stored on my ledger device. And if I want to continue to receive Bitcoin to the address we just created guys, I can still without plugging in and without creating a new uh, new public key or address I can keep on sending to this address Bitcoin and I will be receiving it on this device so because this is a reference key to blockchain my private key is a reference to blockchain and my public key is a reference to my uh, private key and I am receiving Bitcoin on this device so if like I mentioned if I want to keep on sending Bitcoin to the same address it will be stored here on ledger device so yes this is how you buy and how you transfer and like I said in this video I, I was not able to create an in-depth video on ledger device but take it as, as it is I just wanted to show you how you can store Bitcoin privately and don't store it anywhere on Coinbase or any other cryptocurrency exchange or any exchange at all and most likely if you are uh, trading on exchanges which are not crypto exchanges you are trading some futures you are not trading a real bitcoin and this way when we people when we crypto enthusiasts we will buy out all bitcoin which is 21 million like i mentioned in previous video guys and four of these 21 million approximately three or four million are lost this means that about 17 18 million only are left there then bitcoin price will go up so yes guys this was it for this video if you found it useful leave a like share this video subscribe to my channel